Hey guys, it's Paolo. Happy holidays and welcome to Spoonful of Paolo. Look, we got a great holiday episode for you because Lifetime has a new movie out called Blending Christmas premiering on December 12th. And let me tell you, I am so excited because I am talking with two of the stars from the movie, starting with talented and super hot, Aaron O'Connell, and also one of my favorite Brady kids of all time, Christopher Knight. So I'll see you guys with Aaron first and then Christopher. Are you ready, Aaron? Yeah, let's get it. Let's get into it. Let's yeah. do it. Okay, first of all, Aaron, I want to say thank you so much for being a guest on a Spoonful Apollo. I mean, I don't know if you know this, but like Oprah Winfrey and I go way back. I mean, she discovered me in 2004. Um, I'm also one of the original own ambassadors that would always tweet for your show, um, which I oh, love no so much. The haves and the half nots. Like, so you being a guest on our show is really like a full circle moment. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Oh, thank you. I, you know, like I always say, is you know, we wouldn't be able to have the jobs that we as actors get to have without the support that, you know, the fans and the viewers give us. Mm. So thank you for, for you know, tuning in and, and having me. Uh, you're welcome. I also want to say that I'm also obsessed with the way you take care of yourself. I know that you drink like a gallon of water a day with some bottle joy <laughs> jug. And so because you That's... you inspired me, so I got my own jug just like you. It's the same one. But, Did you? Yeah, but only for today because we're celebrating your movie. I put um, eggnog in it. So here it is, you see, and it's two o'clock. <laughs> that is a lot of eggnog. <laughs> wow. No. I mean, I want to be like you, but not the water part, I get it. Yeah. But yeah, just for today, celebrating you is eggnog, okay? <laughs> I love it. It What a great way to be hydrate up, though. I mean, it's been so dry here out in California. God. I've just been, you know, filling the jug in the morning and trying to get through it in the evening. So, wow. Yeah. Uh, well, love it. Love okay, it. well, thank you. I want to say also congratulations to you on such a fantastic movie, Blending Christmas on Lifetime. We watched it, and I have to tell you, it's so good. It's so good because... There's all the people that I love are in this movie besides you is, you know, the, the Brady kids, you have Haley yeah. Duff in it. Um, like, what was it like for you going on set every day and working with like these amazing, talented people? First of all, it is it. I, I felt honored to be a part of such a, obviously a great project, but they did such a great job putting this cast together. And I don't know how they were able to get the Brady Bunch, you know, everybody's scheduled to work, but they did. And it was so much fun just to just to be a part. And I feel like the Brady Bunch, they were they picked up right where they left off. You yeah. could tell that this is a family affair. I mean, they really I mean, they were chatting in between scenes and catching up with kids oh and family. And and I'm just kind of like a fly on the wall, like chiming in when I can, you know, and <laughs> they made it so fun. They made the shoot days just an absolute blast. It just brought so much to the to the movie. And then, of course, you know, Haley is an absolute pro oh and God. is a fantastic artist. And, you know, our chemistry and our the way we are outside of work, our, I think our personalities just really gelled so well that we were able to bring that through in our characters. And I just had fun from start to finish. You know, some of these movies, sometimes you have long days. You're yeah. trying to get all the pages in and you're yeah. trying to, you know, meet, meet the deadlines that you're given for that day. And I got to say, the days went quick wow. because we were having such a good time. And yeah, we had some long days, but it didn't feel long because in between uh, scene setups, we're sitting there playing cards. We're, wow. you know, I, yeah, it was it was a blast. This this project, I, I won't forget. I mean, I've been telling everyone like Blending Christmas. If you're a Brady fan or a Duff fan, it has everything. Because when you see Barry, Mike, and Christopher together in these scenes, and they have some right. like recreation Brady moments, like that they recreated, it's just so fun. So like, I'm really like so excited for you guys for it to come out. Like, because it's gonna do really well. I, I really hope so. And I hope that I hope that our characters, it really translates kind of what we were, you know, I'm, we were all trying our best to really get this script. And Marla did such a great job directing it, but really yeah. get this script out there and let people kind of kind of fall in love with these characters yeah. and laugh with us through the ride. Yeah. You know, I, I, I think yeah. the title of the movie like explains it all and says it all. But it kind of is so cool because like it happens. We're, we're based in Chicago, our web show. And I know that the movie is based in Chicago and it starts off with yeah. you trying your character to plan this big proposal for Emma. Aaron, you know what? When I was watching the movie, I actually kept thinking about your life, your your real life, because I know like Tyler yeah. Perry helped you with your proposal, you know, to Natalie, yeah. your wife. So I'm like, how right. cool is this that the storyline about your character with this proposal and having the families come there to where they were going to get married in your real life, like you had Tyler Perry help you come up with this yeah. 
at, like huge proposal. Like, I mean, it's crazy when you put both of the your life and your character Liam's life together, and voila, look what you got. <laughs> Uh, you know, when I read that script, I thought this this couldn't be more perfect because yeah. I've I've done this before. Yeah, I've done this before, but you know, it wasn't you know everybody kind of got along and in my in my real life, so yeah. that was great. So there wasn't really a whole <laughs> lot of that to deal with. But yeah, I mean, it was nerve wracking, and, and and Tyler did, you know, he was so. I mean, the guy's got a heart that is just bigger than you you can even imagine, and so he wanted it to go off without a hitch, and yeah. really helped me kind of connect the dots in the areas where I was like, hey, what do I do in this situation? You know, how do, how am I going to make this work? And, and he, he helped me out tremendously. Wow. But yeah, there's such a great correlation between that and, you know, and obviously the movie Blending Christmas. Guy, when you think about your library, and I mean, it's crazy with Tyler Perry, because I know that I think your first, like one of your commercials that you did, a big one was Liquid Plumber. And that was in 2012, right. I think. And then you get yep. discovered by Tyler Perry. And then like years later, he's helping you plan like your proposal. Like, I mean, yeah. did you ever like, think of you because you know i always say acting is one of the toughest jobs but with you because you didn't give up look what happened because you kept putting it out there and then you get discovered yeah. is such a beautiful and inspiring story it really is you know i always tell i you know i i, I couldn't have planned it right I, I couldn't have said okay i'm gonna go audition for this commercial and that commercial that I auditioned for mm -hmm. I, I almost didn't even go to it go to the wow. casting for it and the reason why is because I'm a huge football player or huge football fan I used to play football but um the BCS national championship with that was that night and I pulled up to the casting and there was a line of guys across the street down the street to the right through Beverly oh Hill gosh. I mean there were so many people I thought god the game kicks off I mean kickoffs in 45 minutes I'm not gonna be able to <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna do it so Somehow, some way, I said, I'm going to give myself 20 minutes, right? On the 20th minute, they call my name. I go in there. Somehow, I, you know, I booked the commercial. And it's amazing how the wow. smallest things can completely change the trajectory wow. of your life. And so I just try to live my life by being the best person I can be, working the hardest I can be, and just kind of spreading love. That's why I love to do these holiday mm -hmm. films because my family loves you know loves these films and to be able to go back and to sit on the couch and watch it with my nieces and hopefully my kids someday you know watch dad or uncle aaron you know here mm -hmm. trying to win over the girl or doesn't have enough time to buy the christmas gifts or you know who, who knows what it is yeah um it, it's something special because there, there's really no more important thing in life than family and friends so i want people to know because yeah. you said holiday films because you've been in more than just one holiday film and so for some yeah. aaron i picture like you and your wife natalie i don't know why like binging all your like christmas movies <laughs> sitting by the fireplace drinking some eggnog in <laughs> eggnog, <laughs> right? by a gallon um i, I just picture because you've done uh, you've created and done a lot and you got to be so proud of yourself like what you keep putting out there these beautiful inspiring like stories yeah you know it's uh, again it's uh, i feel so honored to even be it's such a competitive industry to, but to be even you know casted for for some of these roles uh, my number one goal is to get the character on screen and bring more life than the directors and the writers could have imagined just to really you know come full circle but ultimately to give my best and to really put a lot of myself in these characters so that um, the acting is really no acting. Mm. You know, that's kind of what I, in, in the acting world, that's what I try to do in every project is to bring as much of myself into these characters as I possibly can. And, wow. and um, you know, I'm just, I'm just excited and happy that, that we have fans and people that enjoy loving watching these you know yeah yeah that's so great yeah. you know like i think about your career like you know that modeling led you into commercials commercials got you into acting i know your first paying gig was right here in chicago for the movie public enemies um that's right it's like when you like what because i said this before but acting is one of the hardest jobs because there's a lot of rejection but for you and where yeah. you are today what kept you going that you didn't give up in this career you know i i think my early on experiences in with sports and coaches and working with team, you know, a teammate and just not just the perseverance aspect of it. And yeah, it, you're for every one yes, you know, uh, for every movie that I get, there's going to be 20 notes. But you know what? I try to I, each audition or each meeting that I take, I know is going to be a stepping stone to where I'm supposed to be. And so I can go to bed at night going five years from now, I'm going to be exactly where I'm supposed to be. All I need to do in this moment is give 100% be the best husband I can be, friend I can be, um, interviewee I can be, mm -hmm. actor I can be. And, and, and I know that I'll sleep well tonight knowing that today was I did the best I could do. Wow. So just keeping that mentality. And I'm not going to say it's it's all sunshine and rainbows because it's not. But 
those times when it is hard, I know those are going to be learning experiences that are going to prepare me for the next, the next adventure. Yeah. You know, so um, yeah. and that's that's kind of how I mentally went from the modeling to the act to the commercials mm. and to the acting with that with that mentality. Oh. Yeah, it's so good. Like when you say like the next adventure, I want people. This is my favorite scene in the movie. I want everybody to look. See, this yeah. is one of my favorite scenes. You see, you wait. I can't tell you what it's about <laughs> until they go watch it on December twelfth on right. Lifetime. Okay, because it's so good. There you go, people. All the gays out there, all the girls. He's married. Um, yeah, but I just like uh. I'm. I'm really. I mean, like I could. We couldn't just stop like smiling through the movie because it's like when you. See See, like I grew up watching the Brady Bunch. I'm like I said, I'm obsessed with Haley Duff. I'm obsessed with your work. So when you come all together and you have this amazing cast and what you're able to do with them is just pretty remarkable. So I'm really excited. Thank so you. Tell everyone why they need to tune in on December 12th to watch this. Like why? Uh... Uh, yeah, I mean, w when can you get the entire Brady Bunch cast in a movie with half on one side of the family and half on the other side of the family? So it's a fantastic Christmas film that everyone's going to be able to enjoy you'll fall in love with the characters and it's just a great time to spend with family friends and um and, uh, december 12th december 12th 8 p.m uh it's, that's when you got to tune in so uh, check oh it god. out and i hope you love it oh my god this was you're you're you know what you're so great i i'm so proud <laughs> of you i like it's you're just thank you for inspiring us all to believe in ourselves and to never stop like dreaming big so thank you thank you thank you aaron i i'm just i'm just in awe of you okay really Oh, well, thank you for having me. It's an honor. It really is. Aww. I appreciate it. Thank you, Aaron. We'll Have a good you. day, Bye. okay? You too. You Thanks. too. So are you ready? Are you, are you ready, yes, Christopher? Okay, Christopher Knight, I have to say thank you so much for being a guest on A Spoonful Apollo. You know, I know you get this all the time, but because I'm the host, I'm going to tell you that I am a huge fan of yours. You are one of my favorite people in this business. Um, oh, pal. I, thank I, you. I, the Brady Bunch, you know, as you know, it's like it is one of my all-time favorite shows. It's just, so for you to be on this show, really, it means a lot to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you, okay? You're very welcome. I'm, I'm honored to be on. Ah, uh, thank you. Um, and even to prepare this, look, I know you're not going to like this, but look, I made myself lunch, and I don't even <laughs> eat meat. I don't eat meat. You, like, you don't eat meat? No, I, I don't, because my husband doesn't eat meat. Take but, a bite. Okay, no, no, after, <laughs> after the show then, okay? And I also want people to know that underneath our logo, A Spoonful of Apollo, we have a beautiful tree that is from your furniture collection. And I have to say that I love it so much and it looks perfect right underneath the logo. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that, is that the Christopher Knight home That's tree? That's the Christopher Or the one on the other no, side? No, no, no. The other one is something we've had for years, but the one underneath the yellow logo, that is your, from your furniture collection, yeah. Well, from my vantage point, that looks like a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. <laughs> so I will have to comment to uh, your listeners, your viewers, <laughs> Um, that in fact, Christian Knight Home has real trees like the one on the other side uh, with all the ornaments on okay. it. Um, that in fact, uh, this Christmas I'll be putting up my tree for the first time and Got this it. weekend we'll break it out and put it up. So yes, I will enjoy our Christopher Knight home tree as well. What I really wanted was the chairs that uh, Prince Harry and Meghan uh, Markle and Oprah Winfrey were sitting on because it sold out. Christopher, did you know that they were going to use your chairs before time or did you just realize it when, your front, when it was sold out, when people couldn't get it online? I'm just curious well, about that. Well, yeah. <laughs> completely a surprise you know obviously didn't know anything about it it's a production company sort of like you didn't call me for your christopher knight home no. charlie brown christmas tree you just bought it and it happens to be there it's so cute i uh, love it it's so cute okay so christopher <laughs> i want to say honestly congratulations on blending christmas we watched it it is so good um i mean it has everyone who i love in this movie and you know for anyone out there for any brady fan they're going to love it you know what was it like for you going back into acting you know with barry and mike and i want to make it clear that you guys are not playing the brady characters but you are playing brothers in the movie so what was that like yeah. for you we're, we're typecast as brothers <laughs> in this Always. movie but like my, I mean, and, and we're typecast as uh, uh, the best of blendeds because yeah. we're like original. So we're OBGs, original blended gangsters, I guess. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you know, I, that's the logic behind uh, getting all the Brady's together. Uh, Susan played, of course, yep. the aunt of uh, Aaron's character, mm -hmm. Liam, um, in this. And, uh, you know, so in that regard, you know, we're used to playing brothers and sisters. It's funny, I've talked to Barry and Mike about it, and they were really, you know, this is great. We get to play other characters, and I'm thinking, 
Did we? <laughs> I mean, the names have changed, but the positions are the same. Although I'll have to admit that the larger cast, because it wasn't just us, you know, having Greg Evigan made clear that, in fact, that there could have been a, another Brady brother, an older Brady brother, and Greg all along. Because <laughs> in this in this particular uh, show, he plays uh, an, my older brother, but it's not clear if he's older than Barry's character. I think he's actually younger than Barry's character. Oh, okay, so okay. it's like having four Brady brothers. Wow. But as long as I'm in the middle, I know my place. <laughs> and I'm in the middle too with my two brothers. So that's why there's a connection with you because I get it. I get it. You know, when you guys were doing the movie, were you guys like talking about the good old days? Because I know exactly what your favorite episode, your worst episode, what you didn't like, what you do like with the. I know all that. So I'm not even going to ask you. Okay. I know it. But did you guys talk about like, Maybe we should keep doing this. Maybe we should do another movie together. Like, I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, uh, of course. I mean, frankly, after not just doing it, but then uh, when the social media began and listening to others talk about it dawned on me that, you know, the spirit of a Christmas or holiday movie and in and, and Lifetime done 35 this Christmas season, Crazy. right? Oh, my uh, God. Yeah. So at 30 running, what, from this uh, November 26th through so, uh, Christmas. Yep. Uh, that the feeling of a Christmas holiday movie is similar to a Brady episode. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's you're you're guaranteed a happy ending. Um, you're looking at uh, problems that um, can be and are going to be resolved. Yeah. Uh, and you're going to feel good, and it's going to feel like well, what Christmas feels like, like a warm, comfortable blanket by a toasty mm. fire. Yes. And that's in essence what the Brady episodes are now for adults watching it yes. because they're reminiscing about a childhood yes. which they think looking back on it was simpler and of course the time around the Brady's wasn't any simpler than it is now but in a home that's well functioning where people love each other and care for each other and consider each other it's a warm comfortable place and of course when we get more chaotic as the world has become outside yeah. our front door, uh, we we yearn for that simplicity that's helped along by watching a Brady episode or in at Christmas time watching a Lifetime holiday movie. You know, I have to be honest. I feel like the Brady's and Christmas really goes hand in hand because for me, honestly, one of my favorite movies is uh, A Very Brady Christmas that I think aired in 1988 on CBS. I remember exactly that day. I was so excited to see you guys <laughs> reunite. And my favorite like Brady Bunch episode is The Voice of Christmas where Florence Henderson, Carol Brady, lost her voice and then she got it back on Christmas Day sang that beautiful song, O Come Ye Faithful. Do you remember anything just particular about that day when you guys were in church watching Florence Henderson sing that beautiful song? Is there some, because I remember you all sitting there, you know, with Mike Brady and the kids were there and Alice. Do you remember something special about that day since Christmas is around the corner? Do you remember taping that episode of sitting in that, the, the church? Sure, pal. I remember that. That was 53 years ago and I remember it like it was yesterday. Yeah. Frankly, I don't remember um, that. I just, re that was the first season mm. and I was, I'm more influenced by what was around me, you know, and that is sort of the nine of us in our view of the show is the remembrances of shooting the show. And a lot of that is not in front of the camera. It is being on the set and happenstances behind the camera. I don't have any recollections much of the first year, probably because it was all coming at me so fast. Yeah. And uh, it was also new. And, and these uh, friends of mine were brand new friends mm. and I was just minding my P's and Q's trying uh, to remember my lines which wasn't easy for me and then to say them which was even harder still yeah so um, but I do remember thinking that she had a beautiful voice I want to show you speaking of her voice I'll show you when she sang to me because she knew that was my favorite song so here she is. Sing O Come Ye Faithful. Just the one line to me so I can remember that. <laughs> and here's your perfect pitch. O Come Ye Faithful, joyful and triumphant. Look at that. O Come Ye, O Come Ye to Beth. Like Apollo's gonna cry. <laughs> I was gonna cry because uh. it was like, you know, this legend thing in this to me. So it's just, uh, and it's Christmas now and I'm talking to you. I want to end with this because, you know, obviously it's airing, your movie's airing this Sunday, December 12th. So tell everyone why they need to watch, why they need to watch it. Why, give them a good reason why they need to watch Blending Christmas. 
because it'll make them feel better. It's a bit nostalgia in watching us in it, uh, being brothers and aunts and uncles, and uh, but it's also a, it's a holiday film. Mm. Uh, it, it's a film that shows us that family really is important and should be made important. So uh, the message there, if it's important to you, uh, spend the proper time paying attention to it and recognize that this feeling that we get at Christmas presented through holiday films is something that we have a choice um, to make a part of our lives beyond Christmas wow. and throughout the year. Uh I want to express myself and just tell you that Sherwood Schwartz, I think the best decision he made out of, I think he looked, he had looked, interviewed 464 kids, you. I'm so glad that he chose you because you have no idea how many lives you have helped, how many lives you have changed. And it is, it's just, I'm just in awe. I'm so grateful that you have been a guest on our show because I will remember this forever. I just will. And I'm going to go eat my pork chops and applesauce after. Okay. I want you to say now, since you're not going to eat no. the pork chop, give me your pork chops and no. applesauce rendition. Chris, Chris, I will be honest with you. I'm not an actor. And I, I tried saying it before. My husband's like, you're not listening to me. You're not saying it correct. I don't, I don't want to say it. Okay. I'll try it. Uh, <laughs> what you should do, just try to do Humphrey Bogart doing it. Cause that's what I was trying to do. Pork chops and applesauce. <laughs> Well, okay, that's a that's a version. That's a fine version. I still I can't even do what I did back then because my lips don't go around my teeth the same way. Where's pork chops? Mouth chops. That swell. Not nearly as good. Oh See, some things you lose yeah. over time. You know, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I I, I can talk to you for another hour, but I can let you go because I know then you know your team's gonna be like, Paolo, we gotta let him go. So I just again, Christopher and I, thank you. Thank you very much, and I'm really excited. Oh, it's been a great pleasure. Thank you. I can't wait for everyone to see Blending Christmas this Sunday, December 12th. It's going to be so much fun. Okay. Thank, thank you, you, Paolo. All right. Thank you so much. All right, Patrick, come say goodbye. He wants to say goodbye. Bye, Patrick. <laughs> enjoy Christmas. Enjoy that that little Christopher Knight home tree. And next year, you'll have a bigger Christopher Knight home tree. Thank you. Well, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to you and your family, okay? Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much.